So, I've been reacting to the Black Panther Wakanda Fair. This is the second trailer. We had a teaser trailer that came out just, I think, about a couple of months ago uh, or a few months ago, uh, which was you know pretty good, solid trailer. I don't even think that was really much of a teaser. I mean, it was seemed like a pretty full trailer. Uh, but here we have an official trailer for it now and not just a teaser trailer. Um, and, you know, I've got some thoughts on it um, already, but I'm going to go ahead and play it um, and kind of get you guys' opinion. Uh, all right. So the beginning of the trailer here, you kind of see, obviously this is going to be the funeral for T'Challa, uh, Black Panther. You see that Shuri is kind of holding, uh, his older mask here. It seems like, um, which I preferred, um, you know, this seems like the mask he wore when he first appeared, uh, which I kind of preferred instead of, you know, except for the nano stuff, the nanotechnology stuff. I wasn't really big on that myself. Um, the nanotechnology stuff they do in superhero movies, but I liked more of like the physical costume, you know, that people put on, um, and everything like that. Uh, Uh, let me go back. Well, I guess I can just keep it right here. Um, so here you see Namor, who Namor is going to have a little bit of a voiceover in this trailer. Um, you get to see a little bit more of, you know, kind of culture, uh, heritage here. You see a little bit more in the trailer. Um, and it's kind of contrasting. You know, you you have the funeral, but then also you see Namor. So a king that's died and then a new king, you know, has kind of, you know, you have this new king that you're seeing in Namor, um, the king that died being, you know, T'Challa and then this new king uh, being Namor uh, here. Only the most broken people. Can be great leaders. Uh. So he says only the most broken people um, can be great leaders. And you see him, you know, come into his throne here. And again, contrasting both, you know, the funeral of T'Challa and, you know, seeing him, you know, really emerge, you know, uh, you know as this leader here. His people, do not call him general. Or king. They called him Kukul Khan, the feather serpent god. Uh, so uh, you have Winston Duke's character Mbaku um, explain a little bit uh, about the character of Namor. Um, I it's, I don't know. Could he be talking? I guess he could be talking just to his tribe um, of people here. It looks like um you know it looks like he's talking to mainly his tribe here people and then um i think you also see the door melage here as well um you know i guess you know coming things about you know the fight and about who they're facing off against um so he says that he's called you know the serpent god um and then you get a good shot after this the feather serpent god and you get a good shot of his feathers, uh, his wings, I'm sorry, uh, on his feet here. And you see him in the air um, and you see them kind of flopping, which, again, is from the comics Namor. Now, I'm not a big, you know, Namor fan. Um, I don't know much about the character. I shouldn't say I'm not really a fan. I just don't know really much about the character. Um, I know that he even predates Marvel coming in, uh, being one of kind of the, the first heroes there predating Marvel. Um, so... Yeah, it seems like, you know, besides from the cultural stuff that they're bringing in here, uh, because of Aquaman, I think the, the big thing was they didn't want to be too compared with Aquaman now that that movie came out and it was a billion dollar success for DC, uh, Warner Brothers. Now they kind of switched from that and went to more Mesoamerican type of uh, heritage and culture background for the Namor character, um, which I, I'm kind of digging. Uh, uh, I kind of like it. Killing him will risk eternal war he's coming for the surface world huh 
that's an interesting shot. I'm going to go back a couple of frames here. Um, you have a new addition to the cast besides Namor, uh, this actress. I'm, I'm going to be pulling up her name really quick because she looks very familiar. Uh, her name is just on the tip of my tongue here. Uh, let me see if I can uh, pull up her name real quick. Uh, but I believe she's going to have a nice... Um, um, Michelle Cole um, is her name. She's playing Anika um, in the movie. Um, and I think supposedly, I think the rumor about her character, um, is that with her character, she's supposed to be in another door, Milaje, um, and even somebody who, um, uh, I believe forms a relationship with, um, Okoye's character. Um, if I believe so, um, let me know if I'm wrong about that. Um, I could be wrong about that, but her character is from the comics. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, so, uh, that's who's playing her, uh, uh, Michaela Cole is the one that's playing this character right here, playing uh, as Anika. For the surface world. And then you have someone right here, you see, as you see the reflection in the mirror, uh, someone right here who's about to break the glass. So I, I imagine that this is probably going to be the beginning of the invasion when it comes from the, uh, not the Atlanteans, because they're not called uh, Atlanteans in this movie, again, because to avoid the comparison uh, with, uh, you know, Aquaman and him coming from Atlantis and everything like that. Um, so you see Namor and his people kind of come in. Uh, now you see the reflection of the mirror. I think this is going to be probably the beginning of the invasion here that you see we know what you mm. I like that he's kind of just looking her up and down you know what I mean like Namor is kind of looking very threatening uh kind of like that you know looking at Angela Bassett or he could just be looking at her and going damn uh I mean you are gorgeous i mean angela bassett is uh like i think she's almost in her 60s now i believe and angela bassett still looks really amazing really great um i see 64 wow jesus 64 years old so i mean he also could be probably given that look as well uh but yeah um so it'd be interesting to see what the dynamic between the wakandian uh wakandans and uh namor's people are which are they're called the tickle uh tick lankians i believe is what they are called uh let me see exactly what uh what they're exactly called here um just to be sure uh in the in the movie um i'm no i'm mispronouncing that but uh yeah uh you see kind of so it'd be interesting to see the kind of the uh you know dynamic uh you know between the what, what happens between namor's people and kind of what's going on uh you know with the wakandians that would be kind of very interesting to see and see what kind of that dynamic is between them um you know could it be a situation where you know they're also coming for the vibranium they see it um as a opportunity to kind of come in uh you know and kind of take advantage of that where you have the king now is gone and T'Challa now is the perfect time to strike. Um, it'd be, uh, let's see here. Uh, so that'd be kind of interesting if they kind of get into something like that. Um, yeah. And I love kind of the different, you know, like the garbs that he's kind of wearing, you see kind of that, uh, which is kind of very interesting, uh, and different outfits, different garbs, um, uh, you know, that you kind of see here throughout the trailer. Um, uh, Talokan. So they're Talokians, uh, is what they do is, and Talokans are, um, see, that's the underwater kingdom, uh, ruled by Namor, uh, which is populated by the Talokians. Uh, that's what they say. This is a cool action sequence. I like this action sequence with the charger there. Oh, I'm sorry. I stepped over what Angela Bassett was saying here. Let me go back. Uh, I'm going to be talking about that good action scene in a minute here. Um, so Angela Bassett says they lost their protector. Now is the time to strike. So it'd be interesting to see um, if that means that if she referring to the uh, Talokians um, or is she just referring to the other people, um, you know, just in general, you uh, you know, that are just now coming maybe after Wakanda, now that T'Challa is gone um, and coming after their resources um, and see them as kind of vulnerable there. Be interesting to see what she means by that. Uh, and then here you see kind of a, a kind of again, I think this is like the scene where you saw where the mirror where it was about to 
the reflection there, somebody about to attack Angela Bassett's character. Um, I think this will kind of be a part of that same scene where you see kind of the water flood and everything like that. Um, you also see Shuri being consoled. Um, is that M'Baku behind her? Um, I know that's Akia right there. Um, I don't know. Maybe she's gotten news. This is maybe the first time she heard that T'Challa died. Maybe this could be it. Um, you know, she kind of has to be restrained a little bit. Um, hmm. And then you see Namor right here. Uh, Namor, this looks like he could be inside of a Wakandan ship here. This looks kind of familiar. Um, yeah, this looks kind of like a Wakanda ship that he's inside of, maybe. Hmm, interesting. And then you see kind of him using those wings on his ankles. You see him kind of use that here, where he's just bouncing. I like how it kind of way it looks, how he's able to float here, how he's able to strike. Then you get some stuff with Riri Williams, who Riri Williams is going to be a part of this movie. This is going to lead into her Disney Plus series, Disney Plus series that she's going to be in. Um... Yeah, I see very Iron Man-esque here with the whole blowtorch, things like that, creating her armor. Um, and how she get, how she kind of is going to be there, the reason for her to be there in Wakanda is probably because she's there from some, you know, uh, you know, because they, if you remember at the end of the first Black Panther movie, they did a whole outreach program uh, where they were like, okay, we're going to, you know, help build up the community and put in these resources, um, and help kind of all this, you know, underprivileged youth. Um, so maybe she could be that where she kind of came as part of, you know, to Wakanda as part of some program to, you know, help maybe study and, and be mentored under, you know, like someone like Shuri and everything like that. Um, so you get some glimpses of her suit here, uh, which, mm, uh, so you see kind of that here. Um, they see a Talokian jump out of the water. The Talokians, they're going to have blue skin. Um, some of them, uh, you know, they can't, uh, breathe, uh, you know, when outside of the water. Um, so they need to wear masks for that. Uh, but here you see a Talokian here jump out of the water and they're going to be having blue skin in this. Uh, then you see, uh, Nakia, who I think this is the first time she, she appears in the trailer, I believe. Um, well, I like that outfit she has on. That's pretty good. Uh, costume so you see Ryu Williams in her you know Iron Man hub that she has here um you know so this but she's probably taking flight right here again very kind of like Iron Man-esque almost like from the first Iron Man movie in a way uh that was kind of interesting and Baku show them who we are I wonder what this scene is. You see kind of everything is kind of burning here. Uh, I wonder what this is. People have also, you know, said it's very reminiscent uh, of something like, uh, you know, from Killmonger when he did that in the first Black Panther movie, uh, when he burned down all the herbs and everything like that. Um, and then some people have also said, um, because about you're about to see in this kind of next shot here, um, you know, how is she going to kind of become, how is it going to be a new Black Panther after the events of what happened in the first one when he burned all the heart-shaped herbs that were able to make someone Black Panther? Yeah. Um, and then you have Angela Bassett. Let me, I actually stepped on that. Let me go back a little bit. I stepped on that line. Them. Cool, we are. Um, so she says, show them who we are. And then boom, um, you see clearly, you see a better shot of this person in the Black Panther suit than you did in the first trailer. Um, so it's basically seemingly confirming that, yes, it is going to be Shuri, uh, because you see kind of the, you know, it's, it's definitely going to be a woman because you see the, the kind of the breast, uh, plates there and everything like that very you know boob uh, armor uh you know what i mean there so you can see yeah it's definitely going to be a woman um who is going to be in the suit um it seems like mostly yeah i mean it's basically been confirmed i mean at this point it's probably going to be shuri you know 95 percent 90 you know eight percent it's going to be shuri even i think there was something with the lego uh 
toy sets, the like the toys and everything also have basically confirmed that, you know, if you look at the toy sets, that is going to be Shuri, is going to be Black Panther. So there's much discussion um, of who is going to possibly be taking off the mantle. The obvious answer was going to be Shuri because Shuri, you know, that's she was Black Panther in the comics. So she took over after T'Challa passed away in the comics. She was the one that took over. Um, so that seemed like the obvious answer to do. Um, me personally, um, I would have, I, you know, maybe I'm still holding out a little bit of hope for Nakia. I thought Nakia and Lupita Nyong'o's character, I think she'd be a great, you know, kind of, you know, Black Panther. I really like Lupita Nyong'o. I think she's an amazing actress. And plus, it would kind of make a little bit more sense. I mean, you know, Shuri seems like the person who's more like behind the chair type person, you know what I mean? Um, you know, the tech kind of person. And yeah, she, you did see her in fights, but when you saw her in the battles, like when she was in Endgame or when you saw her in, in something like that, it's mostly she was just using her, you know, blaster, um, like the, the kind of her blaster gauntlets, um, you know, and, and, and something like that, kind of like her blaster gauntlets. Um, so I thought that would have made a little bit more sense. So how she, you know, it'd be interesting to see how she's going to possibly take on, if it is Shuri, how she's going to take on Namor. Uh, but you see kind of the costume. Another hint that it could be Shuri, why it is probably Shuri in this costume, is because you look at the beads on her head here. Uh, let me see if I can back up just a little bit. You kind of see the beads on her outfit here on top of her head. Um, as you saw at the beginning of the trailer where she was at the funeral, you kind of see those same kind of beads there um, on her face um there as well so that could be also another hint of why it probably is shuri there um yeah why it is shuri uh that could be also another hint there um and like i said the talokians they're wearing mask um right here you see this is when they're kind of underwater but they also kind of they don't need them when they're underwater only when they're on the surface um uh, yeah so we're kind of forever November 11th tickets are on sale now um that's that's what was, that's what was also a big thing about this trailer is that it let people know also the tr tickets are available um and I got my tickets um better get your tickets if you want to see it and not get spoiled because there's a lot of things with these Marvel movies um is that if you watch them um a lot of people rush to go watch them the very first week and then it kind of hugely has a huge dip dip the second week um it's typically what happens um so that typically kind of is what ha what happens with these MCU movies. Um, how successful will Black Panther two be? Um, hmm. I, it, it's tough. I mean, will it make a, a billion dollars like the first one? I think a lot of people, as much as people are kind of like, I, I really don't like that T'Challa hasn't been recasted because I know there is that movement of people who are like, listen, I really want to see the the you know T'Challa character, the, that character, because yeah, we haven't, and I understand kind of both sides of the argument. We haven't really gotten a lot of T'Challa. I mean, he only had one feature film, and he's been a side character in a lot of other projects like Civil War and then uh, Infinity War, and then in game, if you want to count that, he was only in it for like the last ten minutes of the movie, ten twenty minutes of the movie, you know, you, you know, if you want to count that. So, um, yeah, uh, you know, and and. I understand kind of both sides of it of kind of wanting that character back because we barely really get to spend any time with T'Challa. And it did seem like he, you know, after Iron Man left and Steve Rogers left, someone like T'Challa was really going to step up and be the new, you know, figurehead of the MCU, uh, along with maybe him and then Tom Holland as Peter Parker, Spider-Man. Um, now it seems like mostly it's maybe Doctor Strange, like Benedict Cumberbatch, but you know, uh, and maybe Captain Marvel, but it seemed like he was really going to be the new kind of figurehead for them, um, or a new big person, um, you know, for them to lean on as a turn in, in terms of a character, you know, because a lot of the older, you know, people who really started the MCU, people like Chris Hemsworth, people like Robert Downey Jr., you know, Chris Evans, uh, Mark Ruffalo, Scarlett Johansson, Jeremy Renner, uh, you know, Black Widow's character is gone, uh, Scarlett Johansson, you know, her character died, uh, Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man died, Tony Stark died, um, Chris Evans, you know, his character, Steve Rogers, is retired, maybe, uh, dead, possibly, um, you know, who knows what's kind of going on with him, but I think he's just mostly retired, um, Mark Ruffalo is kind of the Hulk, it's just kind of Mark Ruffalo's Hulk and Chris Evans was Thor, who's kind of left around, even Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye is kind of like, okay, you see him kind of going also into retirement, you know, uh, you know, even in the Hawkeye show, it's kind of like, yeah, he can't keep doing this forever. It's getting older. Um, it's getting harder and harder. Yeah. So it seems like his character is going to go into retirement. So, um, yeah, it seems like, you know, they need, I think 
another thing with this new phase, if they're going to bring in this whole usher in these new phases of Marvel, you need to have other kind of people like that to anchor it. You know, you need to have, you know, main kind of characters to really anchor it. People like you had with Iron Man and Captain America and, and Thor and Hulk and Black Widow and Hawkeye. You need, you know, main, these main guys, people to come in and anchor it like you had before in the previous phases of the MCU. Um, yeah, but I am really excited for this. Um, you know, I got my tickets for it. Um, I'm excited for it. And I don't know exactly, I mean, in terms of quality, um, I thought the first Black Panther was okay. You know, I, I thought it was all right. Um, it's not in my like top five of MCU movies, uh, maybe top 10 or top 15, maybe, but not in my top five, um, of like great MCU projects. I think that, that have, uh, been, um, been out, but, um, yeah, I'm, I, I am excited for this and, I think it. I think it could be better than the first one. I think it's a possibility. I think with so much emotion going into it, you know, I think that plays such a huge part in it. You know, the death of, you know, Chad Bozeman, um, that plays such a really big part in. Like, I think a lot of people are really gonna go see this um, and go see like what they do. Um, I think you know, is it a little bit of a mistake? I think for them to basically just straight up kind of because they basically just say like, yeah, it's it's gonna be probably Shuri at the end of this trailer. I don't know. I think that was a little bit of a mistake. I think you could have still kept a little bit of mystery in there, um, you know, for people. Because if you and there's also various leaks out there. If you read some of the leaks, um, excuse me, if you read some of the leaks out there, I don't really read any of the leaks because I just want to watch the movie. Uh, I'm not that thirsty uh, to to kind of see a lot of that stuff. Um, but uh, I've I've heard some of the the leaks and stuff about how T'Challa is supposed to die in this movie. Um, but I'm just going to watch the movie and, you know, see it in the film. Um, Namor, I think, looks great. Um, excited to see that character and excited to see what that character does throughout the entire MCU. Um, this is also one of the longest MCU movies at two hours and 41 minutes. Um, that's, um, yeah, that's a, that's a lengthy runtime. And it's kind of going to be, you're going to probably hear a lot of sniffles in the theater. Um, and it's, you know, especially coming in this phase, uh, a lot of people have called it, you know, kind of, you know, lackluster. A lot of people have not been into it as much. Um, I just thought it's been so far just, eh, I mean, it's some hits and some misses, okay stuff. Uh, and yeah, I, I mean, you know, hopefully this is great and it can end this phase. It can end things on a great note because this is supposed to be the last movie in phase four. So hopefully it could end things on a, on a really great note. Um, yeah. So that was Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever.